Welcome. In this video, I'll be talking about specific heat as well as showing how to do the first sample problem. So specific heat is uh, defined at the top of the paper that, that you're filling in as you watch this video. Uh, but the definition is essentially the amount of energy it takes to raise one gram of a substance by one degree. So it's going to be specific to each individual uh, substance, like uh, copper has a different specific heat than magnesium has uh, a specific heat uh, different than hydrogen. So different different structures, different, different uh, intermolecular forces, different specific heats. So anyway, uh, looking here at our, our problem, you guys know this given and need setup. We're, f we're familiar with that. But we got some new stuff that we're not familiar with. So let me grab my marker here. Uh, let me label our new stuff. Okay, so Q is new. That's what we'll call heat. So that's new. We haven't dealt with heat at all. We haven't seen lowercase q. We have seen m. M is always mass if it's lowercase. Uh, delta, we know about delta. That's going to be change in, or delta t, so that's going to be change in m. And then this last thing is our specific heat. So we've got some algebra-based problems here. Um, second equation that I listed uh, is the delta T equation. So remember, it's our change in our temperature. So we'll take our final, temperature final, minus our temperature initial. We won't need that on every one of these problems, but we will need them on a decent amount of them. So um, notice here, in my given, I've got a temperature initial and a temperature final. So I'm going to have to find the delta T before I plug into my specific heat equation. So let me just go ahead and do that. My final temperature is 47 degrees Celsius. My initial was 12 degrees Celsius. So I just need to subtract those two. So my delta T is going to be 35 degrees Celsius. Now that I've got that, it's, I'm sorry, I apologize about the glare, uh, but now that I've got that, it's a really easy algebra problem. I just plug in all the variables and solve for Q. So I've got Q equals my mass was 83.5. Now, since I'm not doing any stoic to this, I'm not going to convert to moles of something else. I'm not converting to liters of something else. I'm going to not track my label through this problem. 83 and a half grams is what I need. The copper is just going to take up space. So I've got MC, so my specific heat is 0.37. 618 joules per gram degree Celsius. Now this notation has really tripped us up. In the last unit we saw it with our R value. When we see a unit that's got a fraction that's a denominator of a fraction, let me say that again, I, I stumbled in the middle of that. If we've got a unit that is a fraction, there are units in the denominator of a fraction. We don't add numbers to this. This is, again, the energy it takes to raise one gram of a substance one degree Celsius. So this is just a unit. We don't plug numbers in here. It's just a unit. We use it exactly as it is um, on, in the question. And the last piece here is time, my 35 degrees Celsius. So let's cancel some units. Grams cancels, grams cancels. Celsius, Celsius cancels. Now all that's left is joules. That's a measurement of energy. Awesome. So Q is going to equal uh, 1099.39 joules. Now, uh, you guys know my rule is a thousand means scientific notation. means do something with it. Numbers bigger than a thousand are too big for us. Rather than scientific notation, what's commonplace when we're dealing with energy is just to convert to kilojoules. So if I've got my joules, the real easy unit conversion, I'm going to put one kilojoule on top. Since it's kilo, I know that's a thousand joules as my conversion factor. That's why those prefixes are so important. Joules cancels, joules cancels. I'm in kilojoules. So Q is going to equal 1.1 kilojoules. 1.1 because I divide by 1,000, and then when I round, that's going to round to 0 
my answer should be 1.1 kilos here. So the only thing that I haven't mentioned that's new is this joules. Joules are a measurement of energy. So if we're doing a, a heat calculation, our answer needs to be in joules or kilojoules or millijoules or decijoules or some, some version of the unit joule. So that's the first one. Uh, come back for the next uh, four sample problems.